اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم A number of times I've been asked how do we search for mediators for our model. Now before I go into detail, you first need to understand what is a mediator and why it shall be used in research. A mediator is a variable that intervenes in a relationship and it can help you explain how a variable let's say x influences the variable y so the mediator will help you explain the mechanism of impact of x on y so what happens is you add let's say a mediator 1 maybe another mediator 2 now this mediator here m1 m2 or these two mediators will help you explain how x influences y Now why do we include mediators in our models because it can add to complexity in our model it can make our model a more more complex in order to further understand what is a mediator the concept of mediation and the terminologies linked with mediation a detailed video is added to the description The objective of this session is to understand how do we search for mediating variables to make our models more complex. And this is one of the gaps in research. When you read your papers that have mediators, one of the gap is that they are finding or explaining new mechanisms of impact that is how x could influence y. Now in order to explain or find new mechanism you need to have a new mediators how do we get new mediators now there are multiple ways to get mediators and as i said this is mentioned as a strong gap in the introduction of a research paper or thesis how let's have a look now this is a research study and if we look here let me find Nevertheless, the role of all these four variables on the relationship between customer perceptions of CSR and loyalty has not been explored in an integrated way so far. So, this research here is based on mediation. The gap primarily revolves around mediation. Another paper, let's have a look here. The mediating role of team outcomes and let's search how the gaps are explained. Despite teamwork being an important element contributing to the positive group and organizational outcome or outcomes its mediating role in the CSR OP relationship has not been sufficiently explained so mediation can serve as a strong gap in your research and it can help you explain and why it's a gap because what it does is it helps explain the impact of IV on DV it explains the mechanism and you mentioned this in your contributions as well just let me briefly look into it keeping in view the mentioned rationales this study makes a several contributions first this study substantiate the csr op relationship furthermore although there are extensive studies on csr impact on individual outcomes a little is known about team outcomes This study shifts the CSR literature predominant focus on individual outcomes and now it focuses on team outcomes. This makes provision for one of the main empirical and theoretical contributions of the present study. This study is one of the first to propose a model where team outcomes mediate the relationship. Now this is a very strong contribution of this study. And similarly you can find it in other studies as well. Now how do you search for mediation or mediating variable or rather variables an easier way is to look into the limitations and future research directions and they would have recommended some mediators now here the study focused on four team outcomes future studies could have or rather take into consideration other team outcomes as well similarly in this study you can go into 
limitations and future research directions and they would have proposed some new mediators. Some studies may not have proposed some mediators but obviously you will then search for other studies. So if a relationship between an independent and dependent variable is studied with one or two mediators, you can look into those research studies and identify any other mediators that they have identified. Now look at this one here. Future studies could, could ascertain the mediating role of other variables on the linkage between CSR and loyalty that may include positive word of mouth so they are suggesting new mediators. Now an important point is never take all your mediators from one research study. The reason being that the authors may already be working on these mediators or someone else around the world may take these mediators. So obviously try to search for mediators from multiple studies. Now here an important question could be that let's say there is only one study that has assessed the impact of let's say social responsibility on loyalty and they have recommended certain mediators. Now how do you find new mediators? Let's look into that. For example, let's say I've got this variable here, knowledge oriented leadership. And I found a study that assessed its impact on organizational performance. Now there has only been one single study that assessed the impact of knowledge oriented leadership on organizational performance. And they have recommended maybe let's say knowledge management processes as new mediator. Now how do I search for some other mediators? Now since there has only been one study linking QOL with QOAP, maybe there are other studies that have assessed the role of QOL on different organizational outcomes or maybe individual level outcomes, maybe on employee performance, maybe employee behaviors or attitudes like self-efficacy or something else. Now try to search for those studies and see what they have recommended. Now they would have recommended maybe some variables that may be influenced by knowledge oriented leadership. So find out the variables that they have recommended that can be used in future study to assess the impact of knowledge oriented leadership. Let's say they have recommended that future research studies may look into the impact of knowledge oriented leadership on trust. Maybe let's say knowledge sabotage behavior, maybe knowledge worker loyalty. Now these are not recommended as mediators between QL and OP but QL may influence these variables as recommended in one research. Now the next step is whether they can be mediators or not. Now then you will have to find evidence whether trust can influence OP, whether knowledge sabotage behavior can influence OP, whether knowledge worker loyalty influence OP. Is there any evidence in the existing literature? Now if there is evidence and you already have a recommendation for the influence of QL on these variables plus you just the recommendation is not enough, you will have to find out whether QL can influence these variables or not. And then since trust can be influenced by QL and trust can influence OP, these variables can serve as mediators. Now you search for different research on QL and find out what they have recommended for future research. So you will have a list of variables 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 that have been recommended in let's say 3 to 4 research studies. Now then look into further research as to whether these variables can influence this variable or not. If so, they can serve as mediators. Now let's say you've been searching and you could not find any future research direction in the existing literature on QOL that has recommended the impact of QOL on any variable. Now again you can look into the other variable, the dependent variable, let's say OP. So I've been searching on OP, the latest research on OP and maybe let's say researchers have recommended that okay so competitive advantage should be linked to OP. Let's say internal marketing shall be link, linked to OP. Let's say different team outcomes shall be linked to OP. Let's say life satisfaction may be linked to OP. 
Now it has been suggested in existing research that these variables may influence OP. So can these variables be affected by KOL? Is there any evidence that KOL may affect these? Now a question might be in your mind that there is no research on KOL. How will I know whether KOL can influence this? Now there are two ways to find out. Number one, since QL is a type of leadership, can leadership influence these outcomes? If so, yes, QL will also influence. Secondly, search for theory that may link different leadership styles with these variables. Or in the last session, I guess I mentioned something about this as well. It was last or someone, uh, some earlier session. I'll share the video. Search or identify the conceptualization of this variable search and identify the conceptualization of these variables and see whether based on these conceptualization you can link these variables or not. Now the link for that video will be shared. Now this is how you can look into and find out whether or not a particular mediator can be linked between the two variables or not. And you can search for new mediators for your study rather than just looking into recommendations from existing research. Or you can find out new variables that could help you explain the relationship between the two variables. Furthermore, try to read on these variables. The more you read, the more you will find out as to how these variables operate within an organization. And then you can recommend new mediators that can help explain the relationship between these variables and can help make a more complex model for your research study. In summary, the first step, in summary, the first step, look for future research directions. Second, see the variables that have been recommended in existing research that are being influenced by the IV in your study. If you cannot find any, then look for another variable. Let's say those variables that have been recommended to influence your DV, that is your OP in this example. Number four, read about these variables and you will get to know some other variables that could be influenced by this and may influence this. And then you can have new original mediators in your study. Now, these are simple ways to identify new mediators. Again, there could be other ways. Read theory. What's the underlying theory for these variables? Let's say in this case, two theories are important, knowledge based view and resource based view. Now read about these theories, read about latest research on these theories and see what existing research has recommended as to what variables could be utilized to further explain these theories in organizational context. And can those variables serve as mediators between these two concepts? Again, if a variable is being affected by this variable and then it can influence this variable, yes, it can serve as a mediator. Again, you will use theory to explain these relationships. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to search for new mediators. Thank you very much.